hi welcome to a new video it's a dubbed version of the malayalam video that is showing in the i button if you are looking for malayalam version please click the link this is the packing that they are sending actually they have used the original packing I just used some tape that's it uh, we can check the contents inside this package in a moment actually first you can see the cable that is used to communicate with the wi-fi dongle uh, it's a rj45 to rs232 connection uh, we will see in a moment i have also shown the uh, specs of the inverter in the side uh, these are the items we are getting with this inverter first the wi-fi dongle then the cable that is used to connect this dongle then the in inverter itself then the user's manual actually when we are checking the user's manual we can see that its settings are based on numbers just like the other inverters normally we are seeing this type of uh, menu setup in uh, from inverters like uh, Celtronic, Leonix or uh, Must mostly based on Voltronics based Chinese inverters normally we are seeing this type of setup this is the inverter itself uh, we can check the connections BMS connection RS485 is used for that then Wi-Fi connection uh, this is using RS232 for Wi-Fi communication then AC in then main out and secondary out actually we have dual output then the exhaust fans actually these fans are uh, based on temperature then battery connection then uh, we can see the PV in and PV input then we need this portion to be removed only then we can access the inside then on sides left and right side we can see the uh, air ventilation uh, it also has a small uh, filter that is used to uh, filter some dust then on off switch and we can see the details including the serial number and all, the, all of these things i will show the details in, in the side window so you can just uh, go through that if needed this is a transformerless inverter also it's uh, we can also use this without battery as per the description okay now we need to check how we can connect this uh, wi-fi dongle actually this wi-fi dongle will be uh, connected to this uh, cable directly then this cable will be directly connected to this rj45 okay this db9 connector will be used to connect our wi-fi dongle then also you can we can see the uh, earth that i have missed to point out I have removed the screws now we can just gently uh, remove this top cover they are just mentioning that do not connect the battery after the utility is turned on that means it's a battery less but uh, make sure that before connecting the battery uh, we the grid must be off that's it okay now we can see the other connections actually this is the main connection part then we can see the battery connection then we can also see this plastic sheet that is used to direct the airflow uh, that's for a proper ventilation actually on this uh, battery connection we need to use the legs then the solar pv connections now we can connect the item connect the wires then we can continue the rest uh, for this purpose uh, actually we need to use uh, a terminal for this earth now i am not using when you are connecting you must use that now we can use this socket and these connections to this inverter now i am using a separate wire uh, because actually since i have only one earth connection i am just uh, looping this earth you must use a proper leg for earth connection, earth connection because actually don't have any additional earth option then this db9 port will be also connected uh, we, we, it will only work in one direction actually you just need to check for how it's connected actually how the angle is going actually uh, for a db9 connection we can insert the dongle in one direction only so when connecting make sure that it's in the proper connection uh, also on the top we can see the QR code that is used to scan uh, after this app after installing the app okay actually the screw has uh, a screw not, there is no need of the screw that is coming with this device actually we can also see the screw 
uh, we need to uh, scan the rust after installing the app okay now i have moved the camera to the stand so i can uh, install the connections easily uh, it's coming first ac line then main and then secondary output connections uh, right now we are just connecting only the ac line in and main out because actually now we are not going to use the other one okay. the actually this uh, wi-fi adapter can be connected after installation because we can just simply install it's just like this make sure that the angle is correct just make sure that while inserting uh, it's on the right uh, angle that's it just be just a little bit careful actually there is no use with these screws actually make sure there is no loose contact uh, this cable will be connected to the rj45 port now we need to connect the rest of the items like the main and the remaining this socket is directly connected uh, directly going to connect with this uh, main out now we are connecting the line uh, when we are connecting uh, just make sure there is no loose contact or there is no problem with the attaching with metal part actually because the below we can see a metal part i will try to cover that area with a plastic sheet or something like that normally with high frequency inverter in some cases we can see there will be a neutral to earth bonding in some inverters uh, we may need to do that manually okay actually now i am just taking only one output just for this test after that if needed we can actually connect that the same with uh, multiple output based on the current load situation i will not need more than uh, three or four kilowatt uh, it's a, a little bit difficult to connect uh, this wire uh, to this one because actually the uh, size of this connector is a little bit uh, small actually uh, I think uh, that connector can be a little bit bigger so it will be very easy uh, this is a 6.2 kilowatt inverter so I think the connector can be a little bit more heavy for a small house for a small or medium house actually 6.2 kilowatt will be will be efficient for running the full load in most of the cases uh, we will not need that much if we, if we are in single phase actually uh, if we are using single phase our connected load will be under 5 kilowatt okay uh, and i am just using this setup for uh, this setup for just to test the inverters uh, that's why i am keeping these cables uh, it's a 2.5 square mm cable actually if you if it's a permanent connection i i will uh, go for 4 square mm cable that will be much better for this 6 kilowatt inverter up to 3 or 4 kilowatt 2.5 square mm is fine but above that uh, it's good to use 4 square mm cable also i forgot to not uh, i forgot to mention that actually these fans are temperature controlled so its rpm will be very based on the current temperature of the systems actually i have also noticed one more thing while testing actually uh, one fan will be always running at low rpm if there is a change with temperature it will also the second fan will also uh, kick in okay now we can connect the main output okay Actually, this uh, inverter is using a Smart ESS app. The Smart ESS app is a good app based uh, compared to other uh, some other apps that only gives option to monitor. We can also set some parameters for, uh, on a Smart ESS app. Uh, we can uh, install this one from Play Store or any other uh, store like app, uh, the other app store for iPhone. In some cases, we can see. Uh, we uh, we will be you we, we will be able to use this uh, watch power app watch power app is also uh, able to communicate with this one actually this is the manual just scan this qr code so you will it will redirect to smart ESS app we can al also see that actually they have english and chinese version specified here we can go to the english version on the next page okay here you can see the smart ESS app for iOS and Android when we are connecting we need to use this cable that we have already mentioned so I am not going through that again uh, we, we can see that actually the procedure to add the directory logger normally that is a, just a simple uh, setup uh, just to reduce the time I am just skipping uh, that part I, anyway I will just show the features on the mobile this is the app they are specifying the same Now you can see the 
manual okay. always use the proper size leg for connecting these wires when we are, you are doing a permanent installation now we need to battery connections and uh, solar connections i will just place this inverter under uh, to the solar after that we will be using this one this is only for temporary purpose that's why i am just uh, connecting this without terminals here we I need to remove this victron uh, mbpt and we will use this leonix battery pack this connection will be used to uh, our inverter including the breaker i am removing the MB, uh, mc4 connections because actually i will not able to use this mc4 and also on the panels i will add one more panel like currently it's 147 voc only i will change that to 194 because it's it will perform more better if we are giving higher voc it can go up to 450 here i just need to use leg it's a bear uh, we cannot use like this we i will add some leg to uh, i will add legs to leg to this uh, wire okay actually uh, since it's battery we need to use good quality leg uh, don't go with uh, smaller size legs okay now we have almost connected battery output terminals and then also solar connections i am just using a small separator because actually i am using 10 square mm cable and uh, this hole is not for 10 square mm cable actually for this higher voc we will need only 4 square or 6 square mm cable maximum actually uh, since for testing i will be using different panel configuration now uh, here i have just connected all other things battery air and everything is connected we can actually turn on now you can see uh, it's running on grid uh, i have not turned on the solar because of bad weather right now we will not get that much production today uh, because of these cloudy situations now uh, we can see the parameters like battery charge and all these things uh, now even with the four uh, four panels i will not get that much power okay even if it's saying 157 volt it will normally reduce to a smaller value because of this bad weather from grid i am getting 235 volt and it's also bypassing the grid then the battery is also char being charged from grid with uh, i will show the amp in a moment actually this fan rpm will rise when it's charging at higher amps okay then it's showing the solar but you can see the volt is getting reduced now it's going to 62 volt uh, it's uh, say it's working volt is 92 450 volt we can actually go through uh, up down arrows this will help us to navigate with uh, between different screens actually uh, when we scroll we can actually scroll through this screen okay uh, right now it's showing a uh, volt uh, we can change that to amp or watts i will show that in a moment now it's showing the wi-fi uh, the system information then now it's showing the temperature now i'm going the scrolling through the window okay now you can see, now we can see the total production in watts and the battery amp ampere that is going to the battery okay it's going in or out actually based on the arrow we can see 72 watts is uh, it's a consumption okay now it's showing that it's showing it in ampere okay from solar getting zero ampere and on load it's showing on va then on the grid i have disconnected the grid and inverter output at the center it's 230 volt we can actually if needed we can actually change the volt to 220 or any different modes actually i will try to do the lithium battery communication and i will do a next version actually this led will help us to identify on which mode it's working whether it's solar or uh, grid or uh, battery power that can be identified by the LED from a distance and that will be much easy for us to identify now we will uh, we will see the change in color when it's switching to solar it will change to purple as said in the side menu side menu sorry uh, side legend okay you can also see the things on the screen based on the arrows if we have grid actually it will also show the grid icon and arrow yeah. 
now you can see the arrow and volt the led color has been changed to blue when we are going to solar it will uh, change to purple uh, for, then we uh, now we need to connect the dongle only then we can configure the mobile app here you can see the screen with the current uh, current settings sorry the current now it's uh, giving only a small current to charge the battery uh, it's taking mainly from grid uh, this 39 amp is coming from grid okay we can actually configure uh, it to a lower value right now it's taking around 60 amps that is from grid we can check the same on battery whether it's getting that much or not yeah you can see that it's getting around a 60 amp that means around 3000 watts from grid currently there is no sun actually uh, low production from solar so mainly taking from grid anyway we don't need this 60 ampere max charge current actually we can set that press and hold the enter button so that we can reduce the charging ampere once uh, the settings number 02 we can change that yeah here this uh, 60 ampere need to be changed to 20 or 30 ampere because for battery ampere i don't need more than that okay on 02 just enter on 02 then uh, use the down arrow so that we can just reduce it to a smaller value now i have set this to 10 ampere after that after that after saving we can just check whether it's giving on 10 ampere or higher volt this 02 is affecting both things actually the solar plus grid the max charge also we can set uh, the grid max charge current independently okay now i have turned on the grid and it's giving 247 volt now uh, it's by in bypass mode we can identify that using the top arrow now again uh, it's just also supporting the load the inverter is giving around 9 ampere this 0.2 ampere is coming from solar the remaining will be taken from grid okay now it's it will also give backup support if uh, the grid fails that that's what i uh, mean by that arrow it's getting around 6.8 ampere uh, that means around 350 watts from grid Now the Wi-Fi dongle has been connected. It's just showing only the power. I will just configure this to say to reduce the time. Otherwise, it, the video will be very much long. I will just install the app and I will just do the credentials. We first we need to enter the Wi-Fi credentials using the app. Only then this will work fine. Okay. If needed, actually you can just specify that this is the SmartSS app. On this SmartSS app, uh, I, I have just already configured. Uh, then you can see that uh, see the every settings okay the status okay just to reduce save time i'm just uh, going a little bit faster on and skipping some part if you have any doubts let just let me know in comments actually on this chart we can see the power and this uh, power details and load requirement load then also on chart we can see the trend also then on uh, when we are uh, clicking on the month we can see the daily pressure uh, then also uh, we have multiple menu options like analysis details and alarms on analysis we can select these parameters uh, we can go to details and see the history and that means uh, it, it will send things at around five minutes interval it will send all the parameters so we can go through that if needed then also on alarms if there is any alarms we will see that here if you want to change any settings uh, just use the settings button on the top here we can change the necessary settings other settings or system settings or grid settings it has been uh, we can uh, just check some settings here i am just using solar only for charging if you need the detailed video actually we can do that uh, just to save the time i'm just reducing uh, this part 
here we will be see, uh, seeing uh, actually we can just ch change this customize this settings actually uh, but there is a limitation actually we can add maximum seven items in a window uh, if you are trying to add more then it will show the error we can just try that yeah it's just showing the uh, par parameter max parameter reached issue it's showing where we cannot add more than seven Okay. now we can see that additional parameter selected has been shown here okay. we can also get the history here it, it's, actually, it's a nice app that will give us the needed features this inverter has been purchased from Amazon actually it's uh, now I believe at this time it's better to purchase uh, this inverter from Amazon if you are interested I, I will also put the link in the description then also I will put the uh, description of uh, the sorry the link for uh, link of this inverter and the next video link that is a load testing that I will also try to put uh, below this one actually here on battery it's taking around 18 ampere okay uh, but I can see a 2 ampere difference that is a calibration issue actually you can see uh, it's saying 21 but on the battery it's not getting 21 it's getting around 19 ampere okay then uh, we have connected around uh, one kilowatt actually from solar we are getting two kilowatt this one kilowatt is going to battery and the remaining is used for load okay now we are getting around 133 volt and we can scroll through the window now the total watts in kilowatt then the ampere okay now we are getting around 15 ampere you can see that uh, 133 volt we can scroll this scroll through this window using that up and down arrow thanks for watching